Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to handle charts that have data gaps in it. Here I have a dummy data set of sales figure from a shop. So in column B I have the dates and in column C I have the sales value for each day. You will see that there are certain gaps in this data which could be because the shop is closed on a Sunday or because of national holidays. Let me show you what happens when I plot this data in a chart in Excel. So you go to insert, you go to line chart and you plot this data. You can see that there are broken lines wherever there is a missing data point. Now this may not be a good representation of your data when you're actually looking for trends. So Excel gives you the flexibility to represent this, this data in a different way and there are three options that you can choose from. Let me show you those three options. You can access it when you go to select data and click on the button which says hidden and empty cells. Here you have three options which says show empty cells as gaps, zero or connect data points with a line. As of now, you're, you're looking at the option where we have uh, displayed empty cells as gaps. Let's see what happens when I choose zero. Okay. Okay. Whoa. This could be a complete misrepresentation of the data because it actually plots that data point as zero, which may mean that on 25th December, there was no sale or on 28th December, there was no sale, which is not right. So let's see what the third option gives us. Connect data points with line. You can see that this is a much better representation of the same data where it has just connected the two dots and you can see a visible trend here. So you can see that the sales have been static and it declined a bit uh, during the last days in December, which is 31st December, but overall the sales have been stagnant. This data, when presented in a different kind of chart, would look different. So let me present this in a column chart. And you can see that in column chart, it is, it is good to have gaps or zero, depending on the kind of chart. You will not get an option to connect dots with a, uh, with a line in case of a column chart or bar chart. That is available only if you plot line charts. That's it for this video. Hope you found this useful. For more such tips and tricks on Excel, visit my website www.trumpexcel.com or subscribe to this channel. Thank you and have a nice day.